week, it's time for a haunted house movie with Ghost House. Ghost House is technically a unofficial sequel to Evil Dead 1 and 2 and is part of the La Casa series of horror films, the same way that the zombie with an I films are a bunch of zombie movies that are technically unrelated, zombie one being uh, the Italian title for Dawn of the Dead, but are all thematically sequels to each other, though if not it being in the same universe. Now it also bears mentioning that while the zombie films do have, again, common elements of various levels of zombie apocalypse over the course of the various films, Ghost House and the La Casa series don't have the same level of similarity. There are some undead, but this, this isn't working on the same level as the Deadites. There's no, like, Book of the Dead and recording of somebody reading it out loud or somebody actually reading out loud like you get with the Evil Dead movies with the outlier of Army of Darkness there where nobody reads it out loud because the Deadite uprising has already happened. So, less of a common thread here. Instead, the focus of these films is the house. But again, with the house, it also, for Ghost House, it's bigger in more than a few respects from the relatively small cabin in the woods we see in the Evil Dead movies. It actually ends up reducing a lot of the sense of claustrophobia. It gives more room for various set pieces, but that I think that isolation is important for what makes those first two movies work, and it's something that some of the attempted reboots have um, tried to play off of. I do like the premise. A ham radio operator picks up a signal that appears to be a cry for help. He and his girlfriend go to investigate and discover a haunted house and, in turn, investigate the mystery behind it. It's a good concept, but it stumbles at the execution. The scenes inside the house are creepy and atmospheric, the gore effects are nicely done, and the climax has a strong sense of spectacle to it, considering this is a low-budget Italian knockoff of Evil Dead and Poltergeist. But the writing for the bits in between are poor, and the acting performances from the cast themselves are not great. With a better director and cast, and some polish to the script, which pretty much doesn't leave anything, uh, this could have been a, well, better film. Instead, it's a haunted house movie that's just kind of average. Now, the, now, Ghost House received a Blu-ray release as a double feature with La Casa 4, Witchery, and is also available on a video, as a video on demand through Amazon Freebie, as of this recording, with the Rift Tracks commentary, though that version is in a 4x3 aspect ratio instead of the full-on widescreen. Honestly, it's up to you which version you prefer. I'm leaning more towards the Rift Tracks version. The riffing makes the movie just generally more enjoyable. Honestly, it's up to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.